Hello my friends, I'm Dr. Bree and I have a great routine for you today that requires nothing more than lying on your back. It is great for anyone who has limited mobility and I actually want to read a letter to you that came to me and inspired this routine from the get-go. So here's the letter. So this letter from a Femfusion friend says, I'm a senior citizen. I have disc problems and other injuries. For example, I cannot put any weight on my knees and I have damage to my neck. I also have herniated L4 and L5. I am unable to get up and down off the floor. Would you consider making a video for seniors who are very unfit? So this is a very accessible routine that's still gonna help make you feel more flexible and a little bit stronger through your core. So let's go ahead and get started on our back. In this position, if you need a very small pillow or if you need a folded uh, towel or some kind of very, very small blanket under your head for support, you can. Sometimes people find it uncomfortable to have their head down here if they're tight through their neck and shoulders and this, this ends up happening. So if you need that support, go for it. Otherwise, if you have the flexibility, go ahead and come flat on the ground or a firm mattress. Now, if you have a very soft mattress, I would advise doing this on a firmer mattress or some kind of supportive surface that's a little bit firmer than a soft, squishy mattress. What we're gonna do is begin with a mini sun salutation. So begin with your hands at your heart. I'm gonna scoot away from the wall just a bit. Hands at your heart. You're gonna inhale the arms up and then exhale out to a T. Inhale. Expand your lungs, expand your ribs, and then exhale, hands together. Inhale, arms back. Feel your abdominal muscles have to contract a little bit to prevent your low back from arching off the ground as your arms go behind your head. So feel the abdominals start to kick on, kick in, right here. And then exhale, hands above and bring your hands back down to your heart. Let's do it two more times. Inhale, and then exhale, arms apart into a T. Inhale, expand your ribs, expand your lungs, and exhale, hands together overhead. Inhale, arms back, feel the abs kick on to prevent your low back from arching. You don't want it to arch off the ground. Keep your low back close to the floor, and then exhale, lift those arms back up overhead, and hands down at your chest. One more time, inhale, exhale. Inhale, expand the ribs, expand the lungs, and exhale, hands back overhead. Inhale, arms back, keep your low back close to the floor, close to the firm mattress, and then exhale, hands up overhead, and then bring them back down toward your heart. Let's stretch out our hips now, so bring your right knee toward your chest. You can hold on behind your thigh, or you can hold on around your shin, either one, but pull that knee in toward your chest. If you want a little more of a stretch, straighten that left leg, or you can leave it bent. Breathe deeply in and out. One more breath in and out. And now switch, right leg down, left leg up. And again, hold on behind your thigh or around your shin. And as you breathe into this, you can straighten out that right leg or you can leave it bent either way. Breathe deeply. One more inhale and exhale. And foot down. Now bring your right leg up, hold on around your uh, shin with your right hand, and then use your core, use your abdominal muscles as you pull that left knee up. So use your core to make that happen. Now both knees in toward your chest. 
hug around your shins or just hold on, either hugging if you have more flexibility or just holding on if you have less. And try to bring those knees toward your chest, keeping your tailbone close to the ground. So you don't need to curl off the ground. You can keep your tailbone close to the floor, but do try to bring those knees up toward your chest. Breathe deeply. Feel yourself giving yourself a nice little belly massage as you breathe into the belly. And then right foot down and the left foot down. Now one more time, this time though, we hold on to our left leg. So left leg up and then use your core. Inhale and then exhale, use your core to pull that right leg up and hold on around the shins, breathing deeply. Last time, in and out. Now left foot down and right foot down. So move on into heel slides. So from this position, you are going to keep your pelvis very, very level and stable. This is some core strengthening work. So you don't want your pelvis to rock side to side and you don't want your low back to arch off the ground. You wanna keep everything really stable through the core as you slide your heel down along the surface and back up. Alternate between sides and go really slow, sliding the heel down and then pulling it back up. Again, make sure that your pelvis is really, really level. The only thing moving is your legs. <sighs> Exhale as you pull that heel back toward your bottom. Switching sides. Don't shift your pelvis even as you shift sides. <sighs> Sometimes right now as I switch legs, it's easy for the pelvis to want to rock. Don't let it. Keep it really, really still and feel your abs turn on right now as you slide that heel back toward your bottom. One more time on this side. Keeping those abs drawn in. And now hold it here. I want you to bring your left leg straight out. So left leg is straight out, and I want you to lift down and up eight times. So up and down. Keep your pelvis level, keep your low belly pulled in, and do not let your back arch off of the floor. Keep it down close to the floor or close to the surface. Don't let it arch. Keep those abs pulled in, keep breathing. Two more. Last one. And bring that leg in. Now, let's do two times a tiny little bridge. So hands down, fingers are moving toward your heels. Inhale, and then exhale, press down into your feet and lift your bum up off the ground just a little bit. It doesn't have to go high. Let's see if maybe we can go a little higher. Hold it, press down into your heels, feel the backs of your legs and your bottom turning on nice and strong, and then down. Relax, and let's do it again. Lift up, press down into your feet, lift up with your bottom, Feeling the hamstrings and the glutes turn on as you lift, 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 lift. Make sure there's space between your chin and your neck. You don't want to be crunched for it here. And you want to keep breathing. And down. Now let's
the knees flop apart. They might not be able to flop very far, so just let them gently drop apart and then draw the knees together on an exhale. So inhale apart, exhale, draw the knees together. Feel your inner thighs turn on and feel your pelvic floor turn on as well. So inhale apart and then exhale. Use the inner thigh muscles and the pelvic floor lifting as you're drawing those knees together. So release apart and then lift with your inner thighs. Exhale and pull the pelvic floor in and up. One more time, drop the knees apart on an inhale and exhale, use the inner thighs, lift the pelvic floor, pull the knees together. Now we're gonna do that same little routine with the uh, leg lifts on the other side. So this time we're gonna do the leg lifts on the right side, but let's start with the heel slides. So just slide that right heel on the surface and then bring it back up. Remember, we're feeling the core muscles turn on, especially right now, as we bring and slide and drag that heel up toward the bottom. Switching sides, make sure the pelvic, if you get a little cramp, just to circle out your foot, make sure the pelvis stays really level as you do this, and make sure your low back is not arching off the, the mat or the ground or the bed and you wanna make sure your pelvis stays really level and your abs are pulled in. Keep breathing. One more time on each side. So right leg slides out. And now left leg. Now right leg goes out straight, strong through the core, keep everything strong and lift up and down, slow and controlled. This is really working that core. Keep breathing and don't let your low back lift or arch off the ground. You wanna keep your low back very close to the floor your abs strong and pulled in, your pelvic floor is lifted as well, and keep breathing. Two more. One more. And down into the bridge. So hands, fingertips point toward your heels, and you press into your heels as you lift your bum up off the floor Maybe you can even walk your shoulder blades underneath your back just a little bit more, lifting nice and high, and then rolling down. One more. So lift your bottom up and press your heels down. Let's hold this one for a little bit longer. Hold it. Knees press toward each other. They don't have to be touching, but press them toward each other so they're not flaring apart. You want to keep them really in line over your ankles, holding it for three, two, one, and come down. We're going to do four of those little butterflies. So feet close together, knees apart, and then exhale, draw the legs together using your inner thigh muscles and your pelvic floor lifts. Inhale, relax. Exhale, draw the knees together using your inner thigh muscles and your pelvic floor. Strong and lifted through the core. Inhale, relax. Exhale, draw the knees together, lifted through the pelvic floor. And one more. Inhale, relax. Exhale, draw the knees together, lifted through the pelvic floor and low abs. Great job. Okay, last move. So let the knees just kind of flop apart, maybe gentle little twists side to side. Maybe you can go all the way down. If you can't go all the way down, that's totally okay. Just a gentle, gentle movement right here of your knees. And now let's move into a figure four stretch to wrap up our practice. So you're going to bring the right ankle on top of the left thigh and just hold it right here. 
Now, of course, if you want more, you can thread the needle and bring your hand through and behind your left thigh, but that's quite a bit, in, you know, quite a bit more intense for the hips. So I'm just gonna stay right here. You can use your right hand and press outward just a little bit against the inner thigh, but it's not necessary. Just breathe slowly and deeply. And be proud of yourself for taking this step toward a more mobile, more flexible, and stronger you. A simple practice like this done every day can really help you gain strength and you can progress your practice to a little bit more challenging exercises. One more deep breath, keeping your pelvis level and really relaxing into this stretch, just letting your muscles melt. And other side. So now your left ankle goes on top of your right thigh, just above your knee and you hold this stretch. Again, if you did on the other side, you're welcome to thread the needle, but it's not necessary to still get a really nice hip stretch, especially here on this left side is where I feel it is right on the outside of my left hip. So breathe deeply. You can always use your left hand to press open that hip a little bit more on the left side. And again, thank yourself for doing this gentle movement in a supine position. Remember that doing a little bit every day is going to help keep your body feeling pain-free and strong. Remember that motion is lotion and the more we move our bodies, the better we're going to feel. Go ahead and release that leg so that the ankle is off of the right side and just gently again drop the knees just a tiny tiny bit. Maybe flop the knees one more time apart and rock side to side if that feels good to you. And then stretch out long legs, arms overhead, big long pencil stretch, deep breath. Ah, you can let that low back arch off the ground right now. It's okay this time. And release. Great job. When you come up to sit, remember to come through your side and push yourself up with your hand. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel for more. Remember, you can explore my playlists there are a lot of playlists that might be applicable to your particular needs. So go to bit.ly slash fem playlists to see all of them all in one place. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.